Uh, hi, uh, everyone. Good morning and good afternoon. I'm Kes Tan, the Marketing Manager for Eastern Southeast Asia, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, we would like to thank you for your time today to join us in this e-plan planning live webinar. So in this one-hour session, we are going to introduce to you some of the main features and functions of e-plan pre-planning software, followed by a live demo and software, uh, on the software in the application itself. Joining us today, we have uh, Liao. He is the Senior Account Manager for ePlan Southeast Asia. And uh, Mr. Lam Yat Meng, he is the Technical Manager for ePlan Southeast Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. So um, do feel free to input your questions along the session in the Q&A chat box. Uh, you can find it in the Cisco WebEx uh, application itself. And so without further ado, I would like to invite Liao to give his welcome remarks. Yes, good morning everyone. I'm Leo. I'm the Senior Account Manager for ePlan Southeast Asia. So today I will do a quick introduction about ePlan before we go into the technical uh, presentation. So for your information, ePlan has been successfully established since 1984 and our HQ is located in Monheim, Germany. And we have been awarded as top employer since year 2009. So actually, for those that are not sure, uh, not sure about ePlan background, actually ePlan is all managed by Freedom Law Group. Okay, currently ePlan is present in more than 50 countries and ePlan solutions has been translated into 70 languages. And our solution is support of uh, global standards such as uh, IEC standards. What is our global success? We have been implemented more than 45,000 of customers and more than 110,000 of installations worldwide. So up to now, we have more than 700 employees worldwide and we are still expanding in all countries. So this slide, you can see all the red colors show the footprint of ePlan and we are present in more than 50 countries right now. So the next slide is, you can see all the industry or sectors that ePlan covers. And the main industry, industry that we cover right now, automotive, FMB, machine tools, construction, oil and gas, panel building, power engineering, including steel and metal production. And lately, we also focus in the industry of water treatment. So this slide shows you the references or partial list of our clientele. So you can see most of the major players in the market from different industries. So for those that are already uh, implemented ePlans or you might know about ePlans Electric P8 and um, today we actually focus on the module of ePlan pre-planning. So under ePlan platform, we have Electric P8 for schematics and uh, PLCs and uh, drawings, single line drawings. So there's also ePlan fluid for pneumatic and hydraulic system. Pre-planning is for the P and ID, and later our technical manager, Mr. Lam, will show you in details in the live demo about pre-planning. And we also have Pro Panel, is for panel building for switch gear manufacturers. They can do the 3D uh, models in the Pro Panel module, and we also have the ePlan Harness Pro in for those companies that do the wire harness design. We are also able to do that. Last but not least, you can see MCAT and also PDM. So for those companies that uh, implemented uh, 3D mechanical software, or even they have the PDM system, 
product data management. ePlan actually can integrate with those uh, CAD systems to enable the to improve their engineering efficiency. And come to the top here, you can see ePlan engineering configuration. We have these solutions, or we can we can say that it's another module that help our customer to improve their design automations by using the ePlan engineering configuration. So I um, think that's all for my introduction. So I would like to pass the session for the live demo to our technical manager for Southeast Asia and Australian tourism, Mr. Lam, to take over this session. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Leo. <coughs> okay, uh, good day to everyone. Uh, thanks for the uh, attending of this uh, webinar. So I continue with the uh, pre-planning from our technical side. Okay, so <clears throat> for the pre-planning, as everyone will know that uh, when you're doing a project, we have different phases of the uh, engineering process. So here I, I split it into three sections. So I call it pre-planning, the train as a beginning stage of the uh, projects. And we have the basic engineering and the uh, detailed engineering. Right. So during the pre-planning, most of the user, I think you you just uh, figure out the uh, concept of your system, and you need to do some estimations for the cost, the calculations. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> in uh, the uh, concept phase, so in the pre-planning, you can do the structuring, describe the machine or the installation locations. You are able to create the uh, the uh, so-called the drafting or the uh, uh, overview of the uh, machine layout or also the uh, conveyor layout, where I will show you later on some of the uh, sample where we get from the customer, right? And you do some I/O calculation, how many I/O you need for the sensors, for the motors, right? You do the PLC configurations and also the parties and might be this will be a, a basic project for your contractor to start up for the details, right? Okay, so from the experience when we meet the customer, when we're talking about the uh, pre-planning, during the pre-planning stage, so what tools are you using during the uh, pre-planning? So a lot of users, they are using Excel, issues, access, Right. I think the most common one that we see is the uh, Excel. So they do a lot of uh, icon symbols, some graphic, uh, some graphic symbols. Right. So this is some um, live or so-called the, the real example they're given by the uh, users or customers. This is what they do during the uh, pre planning. So they assign all the sensors, uh, valve the operation box, the location for the box, for the main control panels, right? And from there, they calculate how many IOs they need. So everything, just uh, do it um, in manual methods, right? So here, I get uh, one uh, example from some of our, from, from one of our customers. So on the spot, he sketched and showed me this type of design. So I will show you how you can use this. Uh, this is about the four conveyors. Okay. So I will show you how you can do the pre-planning by using our e-plan uh, module. Right. So here we go. So as usual, you need to create a new project. Let's say give a name. Okay. I'm I have my own uh, templates for my basic projects. Yes, all right. <coughs> okay, let's get an update.
Okay, so done. So I'm, I'm getting my new projects here from my basic templates. So this will be my basic uh, structures of the projects. Right? So I also attach the uh, sketch of the conveyors from the uh, customer as well. Okay. So this is how we can start from the uh, sketch. Right? So as usual, we need to insert the uh, conveyors. So I have my conveyors. And for those event users, as you know, we can deal with the macros. Right? and with the variance of the macros. So I can just place my conveyor here and place the powers for the motors. So next, put it in again. So, so we we'll come to the last one. So I might select okay. I'm using this. <coughs> right. So I have completely placed the four conveyor over here. So I can just uh, push to generate a, a report. So from here I can get the calculation of the IOs. Right? So I can see how many IOs I have for the locals and how many IO I have for the remotes, right? Number of DI, number of DO. So I get the calculations, everything from the conveyor that I use. Right. <clears throat> so we can still continue to placing some of the uh, IO cards where we have the, uh, the the main location, the PLC box. The remote box, right? So I'm placing the. Uh, okay. So in this location, I have the uh, main control panels it's in my cards, and then my PLC. and also my remotes. This one. And then last, I will place all the uh, PLC river card, so where I can select how many uh, the digital input cards or the digital output cards I need. So let's say here I need two cards, and, and um, over here maybe I need four cards. So, so I've been done for the uh, copy here. So again. I can change, so if let's say we need to do some uh, calculation to check on uh, how many hours we need to do for designs, so I change the calculations, and I just need to push on generate reports. So we are able to generate the uh, reports for the calculation of the uh, total hours, let's say how many hours you need for the hardware design how many hours you need for the software design and how long the uh, production they need to uh, produce the uh, panels. So you can have the, uh, all the uh, plannings, uh, uh, all the plannings on, on, on board over here. <coughs> and of course, if you put in the price, you'll get the total amount. All right. So basically, during the uh, pre-planning stage, we do a lot of uh, the completions, the uh, information collections. Right? So when we step into the uh, basic or so-called detail, then we can start from the uh, navigators here. Right? So we have a pre-planning navigators here where you can just uh, go in and check on So on the navigators here, you also can see uh, how many inputs and outputs that you require for the conveyors and also your remotes. Okay. Of course, from here we can, uh, because 
and put in the uh, macro. So from here, we can uh, generate all the uh, detailed drawings just by drag and drop from all the functional structure here. So I have the four layers. What I need to do, you just uh, move into the uh, circuit three documents category because this is based on the IEC standard. I have the project structure in the IEC standard, so I just drag and drop. Yep, numbers. Yeah, I get all the drawings. Right. And I can continue to put it in. Like we have the uh, general supply. And of course, I have the uh, evidence, evidence stock systems. Number yes. And the last, I can put in my PLC calculations. So this I will put it into the uh, functional overview. So I get all the drawing in. So I will just remove this uh, two zero pitch. Right. Okay. So from the structure here, I might also change the arrangement. So I can just move it. So I want to have the uh, higher level function structure at the top. Okay. So by doing so, so I can see more clear on my structures. So you can see this is all my um, so-called functional structure of the uh, uh, system. So this is according to the IEC standards. So I have my circuit three documents and then the locations. So this will be all the drawings. Right. So for the pre planning you can do everything start from the uh, pre planning and then get in to the uh, basic and the detail of the engineering. Right. So of course we can doing the IO assignment as well. So let's say I'm going to my conveyors. Right. So I have the uh, IO points over here. So I just select the points and go to the PLCs. Then I can select OK. So here I need the three digital inputs. OK. Then the idle will be assigned. Then from here I can just jump. And the IO point basically is come from the cards over here. Right. So <coughs> Based on the uh, the uh, so-called the let me go back here the concept on the conceptual designs the, on the pre-planning so you can assign all the conveyors with all your remote IOs card right and then from there you can just get into the basic engineering and the detailed engineering right. So that to the uh, So how could we positioning on the uh, pre planning? So by having the standardizations or modularization or the structuring. Without these three kind of the concept, uh, it's quite difficult for you to, to have the, uh, the, the pre-planning concept to be implemented. Right. So from there, then you can get into your basics, uh, engineering, or so-called the uh, design automation and the configuration by using the uh, event platform. Right. So as a conclusion, um, by using the pre-planning from event, it gives you more efficient way in your working environments, okay? And you have the, the one complete system from from the uh, pre-planning stage 
to go into basic and then engineering. And you can start from the concept phase and you can get all the calculations and more professional way rather than you are using the Excels or the some of the chat tools. Right. So yep. Basically uh I think this is uh what we have on the pre planning. Okay. I think we that's all from the audience. So um let me share with you the contact details for the presenter, Mr. Lam. And also, if you have any general sales questions, you can always email sales at eplan.com.my. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's all for today. It's a very short uh, presentation on pre-planning, but always feel free to drop us an email or check, us, check our social media platforms for any updates. Thank you.